Hello everyone and welcome to episode 36 already, which is great. Um, if you want something to be reviewed, sorry, I'm just jumping in. If you want something to be reviewed in the future, uh, please do drop me a tweet at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S and I'll definitely review it whether it's on the web. Uh, try not to give me any Mac or Windows apps and I'll be fine. So this is Wall Street Journal and you're probably wondering because you've jumped on this on how to use Evernote Web Clipper. And this is going to be a kind of demonstration of how web the Evernote, how well the Evernote Web Clipper works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into an article um, that doesn't have a lock on it. If I don't, I'll find another website that does. So I'm just going to click this one. This one doesn't have a uh, lock on it at the moment, which is good. A lock basically just means, you know, only for users type thing, um, which Evernote, Evernote actually worked with the Wall Street Journal. So they've already got a web clipper feature here, but what I'm not, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to jump straight into the Chrome extension web clipper they have. So if you look up here in the top right hand corner where my mouse is, you'll see a little elephant and you can download it from this, from this, from the Chrome web store. And basically once you click this, it analyzes the page and brings up something up here. So what it's done, as you can see, is it's broken down that it's understanding that it's an article and it's taking all of the article information and bringing it and re ready to save it into your Evernote. So one thing, let's start from the top. What you can do is you can change the name. So let's say you had two articles on this. You could say article two, uh, article two, and then add a bit more kind of context. You can then choose what you want to clip. So some people just want to click the article because that's what they want to read or come back to in reference. You can choose a simplified article and a simplified article looks like this. It's like everything ripped out of the page and very, very simple. Um, you can even choose a full page, which is absolutely everything. Um, you can even choose a bookmark, which is simply what this is, just a centralized um, URL with a bit of context around it. And finally, you could even do a screenshot of specific areas of it. Um, and it makes that lovely sound, which is great. Uh, I think that might have saved my Evernote. It hasn't. Okay, so that's the basic features of it. But let's say I wanted to save this, and I'm actually going to demo save this. Um, uh, let me just cancel that. Okay, I'm going to choose article. I'm going to choose a folder it's going to go into. So uh, maybe inbox. Let's choose inbox for now. Um, and then you can add tasks straight from here. So you can maybe put articles. Uh, I'm just going to make a new one, add a remark. So it could be a uh, hello, um, and that's a bit of a remark. Additionally, when you're in inside this kind of thing, what you can do is you can start highlighting stuff, which is great because you could be like, oh, yeah, uh, Spain and data. So And you can kind of grab the bits of information you want to know. Um, and even if when you screenshot, so when you screenshot, say you wanted this clippage, what you can do here is it's kind of partial um, Skitch features involved. And Skitch is basically one of their iOS and Android applications that allow you to kind of uh, tag up stuff. So let's say you were kind of presenting to a client um, or anything like that. You can then like, oh, uh, you know, uh, do some demo and examples and maybe write some text like buy this um, and it's there. So you can and you can do a lot of it. You know, that's good. You need to change. Maybe you need to do better on this. You could even do it for teachers, whatever, basically. Um, but yeah, so you've got a lot of information there. So what I'm just going to basically do here is I'm going to add it, uh, cancel this one, and add it as a simplified task to my inbox. And then what I'm going to do is save it. So what it does here is it clips it, it brings together, and it tells you up in the corner that. And then after it's done, it gives you a little more context on other things that are relevant to this. So it gives you relevant notes. So it's giving me tea and coffee information from another thing I'm doing, maybe Spanish lessons, because it's detected it's got Spain in, and maybe some marketing information, uh, because it maybe mentions marketing. Um, so that's quite interesting um, and it's very useful. But let's say I wanted to share straight away from here. Um, I could share my note through work chat. I could share through LinkedIn, Facebook and work chat. I can talk about in another episode, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Mail, um, or even share the link directly. Additionally, on top of this, I can add a reminder and I can choose a specific date and a specific time for it to go off. So if I was like, OK, I do need to remind myself to read this or I need this for the a research paper I'm writing next week, then you can kind of add the direct bit of information. That's very useful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly refresh my Evernote over here because I'm using web. Um, and I mean, I could prove it on iOS, but obviously web 
at the moment because I've got a Chrome base at the moment and a Chromebook. Um, so if you can see, it's right up here, which is great. I'm just going to open it up. It is in full view. Uh, I believe it should be in full view. Um, yes, it is. So it does break it down on the web. It makes it look a little harder to see. But if you get it on mobile, it will look perfect. And um, yeah, that's very useful. On, on mobile, um, on, on, sorry, on iOS application, it also gives you a bit of context, some other articles of view. Um, but then from here, you can add information to move it to a notebook, add some tasks, you know, see the information around it. Or let you can see, even see the URL that it clipped from. Um, and what time and information, and, and then again, you can share it from here. So overall, the Web Clipper is a fantastic way to bring in stuff. And I want to go in detail on it another time, on the specific features, on how to do crazy things when, you know, you could, for example, uh, when you're a website designer, you could utilize the kind of sketch features within it to showcase all your ideas um, and, and then send it to a client or anyone else like that. And they'll kind of be amazed when they see it because they'll be like, oh, wow, this kid's or guy or gal has gone to some real, real effort to um, showcase what they mean and what they want to change and how they'd want to develop it. So that's quite important. Anyway, guys, I'm murmuring. Um, thanks very much. And make sure to have a good week and keep productive.